I'm so nervous. So, so nervous. So yes, you guys read it right. I am going to be unboxing my first ever Chanel bag. I can't believe I'm saying that. I actually purchased it from Fashion File, so it's not brand new, and that's really the only way I could really afford a Chanel bag right now, which is fine, but just when I saw it, the price, what it looks like, I was like, I have to, I have to do it. Thanks to my summertime job, I had money aside, and it, you know, that's what I got. Um, I'm really nervous. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, my first Chanel bag. Um, um, also, I think I was watching someone else's video, like, unboxing their bag from Fashion File, and it's like, do we really hype it up in our heads because it's like, oh my god, it's like one of our first Chanel bags. I'm sure a lot of people who are veterans um, probably don't have this feeling, the exact same like nervous feeling, probably the excitement. Um, so it's like, is this going to live up to the expectations I've hyped up in my head? So I haven't even unboxed it. I've only crossed out the address portion and yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. Whew, my heart is like, oh my gosh. I really hope it's everything that I've been expecting it to be since I hit purchase. I'll say this is like my first time purchasing from Fashion File, even though I've been like lurking the site for like two years. What's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, cute. It comes with a with a little nail file because fashion files yeah but I don't care about that um, also comes with a letter it's just like your receipt I suppose yeah it's just your receipt in here which I can get into it later but <sighs> paper paper oh my gosh even though it's a noun Used is the new new. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is that? Um, so the bag is a 2006 bag. Um, I'll give the details of the bag later, but um, it was just the bag. It doesn't come with the original authenticity card or the dust bag, which I think is also why it was such a great price besides the condition. And it's fine. Like, I don't need that because I'm not planning on ever selling this if I like it that's the thing so if it's not worth it we'll see but I don't know if I'm ready also yeah just don't mind the bag so this is fashion files dust bag interesting it looks like one of like the shoe drawstrings oh god This is it. This is her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can I just get, can I just have a moment please while I just like inspect the bag and just let it kind of sit in? I don't know why I imagined it was going to be bigger even though I I don't know. It's just kind of hard to tell like online. You just see like this blown up picture so you're like oh my god is this gonna be huge oh my gosh oh my gosh this is her oh my gosh wow This is just so bizarre. I. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this handbag. So, this is the Mademoiselle Line line. It's spelled L I G N E. When I first saw this on Fashion File, I had never seen this ever. And I saw the price, they had it for $1,600. 
and as you can see it basically looks like a flat bag like the classic flap except it has vertical quilting slash stripes and it has the bijou bijou sorry i'm butchering french i haven't taken french it's my next language though um that i want to tackle um the bijou chain and this bag is from 2006 when i first saw this on fashion file because i had never seen this ever even though i follow the only youtuber luxury youtuber that has this bag i had never seen it before so it's just kind of like a lack of detail so wow i'm just gonna keep like holding it like this because this is such like a special moment um and it has the fashion file tag where it's like if you remove it it's yours forever but i i think i'm just gonna remove it i just kind of want to like keep it intact <laughs> for now while i'm like letting it sink in that this is my first chanel bag so obviously i didn't impulsively buy this i wanted to do as much research that i could on this bag because i had never seen it and fashion file didn't really have the name for it um so it is it was a seasonal piece and that's why you know it's not super well known so when i first ended up okay i was like this is what i have i have an interesting chain that's not the typical braided chain or like the reissue chain and we know it's vertical quilting so i looked up chanel vertical quilt and of course the vintage vertical quilt quilt bag that everyone seems to be on the hunt for always pops up and i'll insert the picture right here so you know which bag so that didn't help me at all and so then i started looking through the archives i knew that this was a 2006 but only certain special bags like it bags of the year or new bags were the ones that what was it yogi's closet had any record on so i kind of played around with the names of the collections of the bags during 2004 to 2008 and i think finally i ended up reaching like somebody who had resold this bag i think it might have been through rebag um they said it was like mademoiselle hi editing me so i could not find where i saw that it was just mademoiselle and then everything else i could find that is obviously says the mademoiselle line but whatever i saw it only gave me mademoiselle vertical flap there was no line so it still sent me on a goose hunt so just because the picture says something else doesn't mean that's what happened okay okay um so then i went on purse forum or purse blog which is a great place and i typed in mademoiselle and they have an archive of like poster pictures of like certain names of certain bags and i think i went through like five or six of them that had mademoiselle in them and finally i came across the mademoiselle line um or line i'm not i'm really not sure how you pronounce it and people posted their pictures and what they had gotten it for i think back in like 2010 that's like 2011 that was the last time that forum was updated and now that i knew the name once i typed it in chase amy or like amy amy chase i think it's just i don't know why i call her chase amy i think it's such like a a school work thing where it's like last name call first name that's how i associate people um which is totally weird right and then i finally saw that she had this in the black version and she had said the name as well so this isn't the black version this is in the deep chocolate brown um so when i had first bought it i was like oh like if it's too too brown like a lighter brown because i'm not super into like light brown colors you know i might just dye it black um not that i plan on repurchasing it i think like you don't do that with your first chanel bag um so i was like oh i'll wait to see till i get it to see how it looks in person because um i did see from the fashion file pictures that the wearing on the corners it did lighten the leather a lot so this is in lambskin but only on the sides technically where there's a lot of stretch in wear is where it appears as like obviously a light brown but i thought even in the pictures like it kind of felt like depending on what you're wearing it's what it would pull more and as i'm seeing it in person like if i i don't know like 
I kind of just don't want to do it right now. I mean, I'd love if the sides were darker and not as light, but it doesn't bother me. And it's like so like, I don't know, I feel like the chocolate brown is kind of borderline. So I probably won't do it. I want to, because I know once you dye it, especially like on lambskin, it changes kind of like what it feels like. So I think I'm just going to enjoy it and then possibly move forward dyeing it once, you know, I beat it up myself, <laughs> um, which I hope I won't. So the reason why I picked this one instead of a different bag was because the resemblance of a classic flap. Now I want a classic flap sometime in my life, but truthfully where I am now, I feel like I would have nowhere to wear a classic flap with the typical like diamond quilting, black and gold hardware in the chain. As beautiful as it is, I personally feel like it's not appropriate for me in my life right now. I'm still a college student. Um, my career path like could be in a lab, could be sociable, depends on what I want to do and what is available. And I just feel like I wouldn't have that many opportunities like within these next two, like two years post-graduation. I don't think I would A, have the money for a brand new classic flop and B, kind of have like, B, we're like, oh yes, hello. Like the way I would baby that, it just wouldn't make sense for the point in my life. And I kind of have this idea in my head that I want my first brand new classic flap to be purchased in Paris on like a romantic thing. I don't know why and it might not happen, but that's kind of like what I had. And as soon as I saw this, I felt like I would be able to wear this where I am now. I feel like the vertical quilting makes it so much more casual and not so like, oh my god, classic flap. Because you know, I feel like everyone has a classic flap. So I liked how like casual this look and how different it is. And then I like the bijou chain or bijou, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, because again, it adds to that casualness on top of the silver the silver hardware, which is quite impeccable. There's no, there's really like no scratches on this. I don't know who had this, but she or he kept it in very good condition. Um, again, the only wearing I see on this bag for the most part is on the corners here, um, where it does look a lot lighter than the rest of the bag, but it's not that big of a deal because it, it'll make me less scared to use it. And I'm so excited. So from my understanding, this was just a seasonal bag. And the reason it was priced a lot lower is because, you know, even for like a vintage Chanel bag, is because the lining on the inside is not leather. It is just a lining. Um, I know that if you got the brown bag, which is this one, the lining is brown and if you got the black bag the lining was black and it's Chanel made in France and it has a zip pocket right here which is steep and it has this little front pocket right here where I could put my cell phone I don't know other stuff and then it has the pocket in the back which is on the Chanel classic flap. So it's basically a great <laughs> price for the look of almost like a classic flap, even though Chanel did not classify this as a classic flap. <sighs> I love it. And it's, I just, I love how like, like every day it looks where I am gonna get my money's worth out of this for my life right now. Cause I feel like if it was the typical one, I would only use that for special occasions. And let's be real, there's probably not that many special occasions right now in the world due to um, Miss Rona. So I'm on the purse forum blog where I got a lot of the information for this bag for the most part. And so there is, someone posted a picture of this bag on a model on a flyer supposedly from Bloomingdale's this was back in 2006 and it says that brand new 
this bag retailed for $2,850. I'm assuming it is US dollars. So editing me again. So there is also other people saying it was um, $1,695, so $1,695. Um, the bag that I put earlier from Borrow, Purchase, or Steal said that the MSRP was probably that, as well as somebody else commented who had it as a gift, and I'll put the picture up also, said that she thought that it was also $16.95, so I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it just depended on which seasonal bag and the size, perhaps, but I'm not sure, because this is also um, back in 2006 to 2008. Because Bloomingdale's is an American company, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. And on Fashion File, it was originally, I think they priced it at 1800 but it had a discount on it where it brought it down to 1600 But once with taxes and fees and everything, it brought it back up to 1800 but so basically I got it for 1600 we're not including taxes because the 2850 also doesn't include taxes I mean realistically that would bring it up to three thousand dollars so for the condition of the bag and what it was originally priced back in 2006 I think this is a great purchase which this is the last time I'm jumping in but because I edit this information in I just thought it was important to also add that I still think for what I am getting in regards to Chanel and in regards to quality and the condition of the bag I still think the 1600 was worth it which is I feel like it's kind of hard to find on fashion file for very popular bags which Chanel technically is classified as a popular brand because they like to mark things up you know so I'm very happy with this um, you know maybe one day this will be black but I feel like even on camera which is basically what it looks like in person the shine off the lamb skin kind of makes it a little bit hard to distinguish if you see it like without the shine you're like oh yeah it's not quite black and if you saw the sides you'd be like oh that's brown but I really I really like the chocolate. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I know my mom growing up, this is like early 2000s also, my mom had like a chocolate brown bag and I didn't like that color, but now I, I don't know. I mean, obviously I was younger and I didn't, I didn't know better. I liked pink Minnie Mouse bags, <laughs> um, but I really like this. I think it's different. Um, and it's smushy and it's my first piece. I don't know what else to say. I'm really happy about it. And I'm kind of just like in awe of being in the presence of a Chanel bag and it being in the house, which is weird, but yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. So yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys all in my next video. If you subscribe, which you can if you want. But if you're just stumbling in, thanks for wanting to be a part of the experience of me unboxing my first Chanel bag. Bye.